Welcome to our video about forward motion compensation. My name is Klaus Neumann and I'm the sales manager for Leica Geosystems Airborne Solutions. Today I will explain what forward motion compensation, in short FMC is, and why it's an important feature for aerial mapping cameras. We introduced FMC in 1987 for the use in the world RC20 aerial film camera. With faster aircrafts, better filmed and higher quality optics, image motion became more visible and its negative impact on image quality received higher attention. Image motion can be significant. To give you an example, for an aircraft speed of 150 knots and an exposure time of 1 over 500 of a second, the image motion will be approximately 15 cm on the ground. In other words, during the active exposure time of the camera, the aircraft continues to move 15 cm in flight direction. This graphics shows the impact of forward motion on image sharpness. Without compensation of the motion, objects or points get blurred. During the active exposure time, the aircraft continues to move. To produce a sharp image, objects needed to remain stable during the image capture. In 1987, this was solved by moving the focal plane during the active exposure time to compensate the ground distance traveled. So the first FMC was moving the focal plane when the shutter was open. Movement of the film was in flight direction to keep objects on the ground at a stable position on the focal plane. Very quickly, FMC became a standard requirement for all aerial cameras used for mapping applications. With the introduction of digital aerial cameras, the mechanical FMC was replaced by electronic FMC, simply because the digital imaging sensors or CCDs provided a feature called TDI, time delayed integration which could be used as forward motion compensation. Here you can see the TDI feature for a CCD sensor. TDI shift is in flight direction. The charge each CCD element is collecting will be shifted to the neighboring element. This process will be repeated for the pre-calculated number of FMC shifts before the information will be registered. With the introduction of CMOS imaging sensors, TDI is no longer available. Unlike CCDs, the chip design of CMOS sensors does not provide TDI as a feature. Like Cartier Systems designed a new mechanical FMC for the next generation of aerial cameras. The big advantage compared to TDI is the sub-pixel accuracy. This is important because requirements for ground resolution are increasing and blurring becomes more visible for smaller pixels. Aerial cameras without FMC have a significant disadvantage. To avoid image motion, shutter speed needs to be increased. This only works if the lighting conditions are good. In poor lighting conditions, the short exposure time causes image noise. In reality, light conditions are seldomly perfect. Most aerial mapping projects are flown over urban areas with narrow street canyons and dark shadows around buildings. So increased image noise is a common problem for cameras without FMC. Here is a good example of increased noise in the shadow areas, which is caused by the short exposure time. The imaging sensor was not able to collect enough light. The Leica MFC150 is the newest generation aerial camera and the main component of the latest Leica Geosystem sensors, including the Leica CD Mapper 2. It features CMOS technology and high-precision mechanical forward motion compensation. 
FMC enables the Leica MFC150 to produce super sharp and crisp images at very low light conditions. It enables the use of a wide range of exposure settings to avoid image noise. This image shows the same scene with FMC switched off on the left and switched on on the right. You can clearly see the impact of mechanical FMC on image blur. The image was captured at a very low sun angle which you can see based on the long shadows. Here is another great example where the difference is highly visible. At last, I would like to show you how mechanical FMC looks on the final data products. Here is a fantastic example of Munich. As you can see, the data was collected in late autumn at very low sun angle of 25 degrees. Despite the low lighting conditions, Every detail is visible even in shadow areas and urban canyons. I hope this short video about FMC provided valuable insights about the codependence of image quality and the right camera technology. Feel free to reach out if you want to learn more. Thank you for watching and goodbye.